You ready? Scheduled for five rounds if need be. All right, so here he is, the UFC champion, and this guy is all the rage. Right now, he might be the front runner for the Fighter of the Year, given the fact that he was able to knock out the number one contender in his last title defense, and to do so so emphatically in a fight that a lot of people thought was close on paper is really something that could take his career to the next level. Trying to follow that up here tonight. Most guys have succumbed to his power. We'll see if that holds true yet again tonight. And now that jab starting to get established. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Joe, how does he approach this particular challenge tonight? Joseph Benavidez has some nasty power in his hands, especially his overhand right. Benavidez gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, and see, there it is. You know the overhand's coming, as we suggested, but you still can't stop it. Landed it beautifully there, and a nice setup to boot. Fighters back to their feet here. And he's looking for that left. Nice one, two there. That shot blocked by Benavidez. Nice shot. Very good defense on display here. Very good blocks. Able to check the high kick. Benavidez's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. And he lands a nice kick. Slightly deflected. Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. Damaging strike there. Yeah, and here he goes again. Oh, gets the takedown there, Joe. That'll work. He's back up to his feet. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Eats a, a nice right hand. Missed on the strike attempt there. His stamina has really failed him here tonight. He's got to figure out a way to preserve some energy as this fight moves forward. Oh, spinning back fist. He solved it right there. Very nice. Oh, clipped him with the left. Left kick to the body. Back and forth we go here. He's doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. Oh. Massive hook shot is that true. Up. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. 30 seconds to go. things where you're just wondering what's what's the opponent going to be able to do to him not even whether or not he's going to win but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him oh nice good shots by the champion he just misses there with the left oh huge block well, you see the numbers there, bottom of your screen, outlining just how effective he has been with the jab here tonight. He established it early. That was a big thing for his camp coming in, and they certainly have done their homework. Let's see where he goes from here. Absolutely. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body, and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. Oh, clipped him with the jab. Well, he just hasn't been efficient with his strikes here tonight. There's another swing and a miss. And at this point, if he can't preserve some stamina moving forward, this is going to end up being an awfully long night. Trying to establish that jab once again. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Just missed with the straight left hand. Just over two minutes to go. 
Nice inside leg kick, not even telegraphed. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Look how light he is on his feet, too. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, oh that was a big left hand he connected with. to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Benavidez gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. It appears that cut is getting worse. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. That's oh, a hard he's so hook. so good with that hook, Joe. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Drop down for a double. Oh, and again, he lands another takedown there, Joe. So really doing a nice job scoring points, and the takedowns are piling up. And he's not telegraphing his shot, and that's why he's been so successful. The opponent can't see it come. Yep. All right, that's the end of round no, number two. No, 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 no. go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so the next round is underway. Here we set off the top. This was very good matchmaking, evenly matched fighters, and that's exactly how it played out in the last round, which was very good. Not outstanding, but high-level MMA action on both sides. We'll see if one fighter can take control here. Beautiful jab, beautiful jab, sharp timing. Benavidez carries big power in his hands. Nice. See the total strikes. Good shot. Plans an outside leg kick of his own. All right, so a swing and a miss there, and largely due to fatigue. His stamina is low, and he's got to figure out a way to conserve some energy if he's going to have any success later in this fight. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Moves to full guard. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice roundhouse kick land. Back and forth we go. Oh! oh! Back to the feet. There's a nice inside leg kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. So the takedowns have come in bunches here tonight. Look for him to try to set up yet another one here. He'll find that window, barge right through the legs, and get his opponent to the canvas. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Benavidez's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Leg kick is there for Benavidez. He is stumbling. The champion is hurt here. He is in big trouble. He's trying to cover up. We might be seeing a new champ right now. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. And there he swung with the haymaker. Benavidez, his uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Gets up again here, but hurting. Benavidez's strike attempt there is blocked. There's a body shot. There's a solid body shot. Good body kick. 20 seconds to go. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. So he heads back to the stool after a dominant round. Great round there. Are uh, you ready? You ready? Let's we go. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, so with that, we have arrived at the fourth round. The championship rounds are here, and now is when we really see championship medal, right, Joe? To see what these fighters are made of. 15 hard minutes in the books. We'll see who's the fresher fighter here to begin this fourth of a possible five rounds. Well, the offense has been there. He has landed some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Oh, great combination of strikes there. Well, don't adjust your TV set. The punch lands yet again to the head, and defensively, Joe, his approach here is leaving a lot to be desired. He's moving into the strike and putting his head right in his opponent's range. All right, so some fatigue striking, I guess you would call it here. He is landing, but just not inflicting much damage because his stamina is on low. They're struggling hard here. Well, you've got to love this performance here tonight, Joe. He continues to land a high number of strikes, just as he did in the previous round, and seemingly not slowing down at all here tonight. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Benavidez gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. And just misses with that big right hand. Nice. Oh! Oh! He hurt him. This could be it. Defense there, huge block for him. He's blocking almost all these shots. Nice left, left kick to the body. Joe, he's really got to start mixing things up a little bit more, change levels, work the body a little bit. You know he's realized a lot of success working the head. Don't be afraid to work that body. Misses a huge hook to the head. <laughs> Try to establish that jab. Nice outside leg kick there. Really missed with that right hand. That is a horrible cut. Good defense there. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Twenty minutes down, potentially five to go. Here's a huge punch to the head that stuns his opponent. And here we see another huge punch that stuns his opponent. And here is one more massive punch he lands. That re and as you can see by these clips, some devast... Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Fifth fight. and final round, fourth cup. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Benavidez. Punch is blocked. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Showing the punch. Benavidez gets caught with that punch. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. A huge barrage of strikes, he kept coming and finally landed one big bomb for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And let's look at that from a different angle. And there he is, folks, the consensus baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion, getting it done tonight and with a knockout under the bright lights. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, four seconds of round number five.
declaring the winner by knockout and UFC flyweight champion of the world, and he did it with style points here tonight as he defends the belt by way of the KO. I'm not sure I've ever seen.